poverty, addiction, abuse victims, diseases, bullying, people with disabilities, single parents, prisoners, and dreamers, and those that are privileged in everyday life. What do all these words share? Defeat. Yes. Defeat is defined as a setback or the will to surrender without a fight. Now, there comes a time that we all have felt that sting of defeat in our lives, not getting that promotion at work, growing up in poverty, or the addict, whether it be food, money, or drugs, who has overcame that challenge of addiction, only the next day they fall. Take a child that is bullied, who fully doesn't understand, or the husband and wife who go through the hours of marriage counseling, yet their marriage is still on the rocks. And all these examples from di different many walks in life, the common trait is defeat. And it is, it's everywhere around us. It does not discriminate, it does not pick, it does not choose. But I'm here to let us know that we, as a whole, can overcome these defeating circumstances together. Now, as a prisoner, the moment that I entered these gates, barbed wire, concrete, all around me, defeat set in. It was like a fire in my soul that I could not put out. When we are told that somehow we don't belong here, that it's our fault that we were abused. When, when life-threatening illnesses attack us, our loved ones, our automatic response, I've been defeated. But that is a lie, a common lie that at one point, you, you, I, we all have believed in our lives. So how do we begin to eliminate this problem? In today's world, Chaos and separation is so rapid that defeat continues growing, yielding power over our lives. But by encouraging, motivating, and pushing one another beyond our pains, we can take back that power. We can start to overcome this defeat. Every day in prisons, in our homes, in our schools, the workplaces, and even on the streets, People are continuing to be discouraged by their circumstances. And I don't know about y'all, but what do most of us do? We kick them, and they are already on the ground when all that is needed is a word or a gesture to help that individual rise. Now, I never wanted to be talking to any of you people up here today, you know, <laughs> let alone in prison. But the moment that my dreams and my hopes became abolished, that defeat rose within myself again. Yet, in the midst of my circumstances, not finishing school, running away from home, or having to come to a place like this, a mother, a grandmother, my grandmother, she offered me those words, and she gave me those gestures. My grandmother's, her open arms, the many hugs, the I love yous, her continuous prayers for me, and her famous line of can't, does not exist, allowed me to see that darkness was not there. There was always light. See, in my grandmother's limitations, they didn't defeat her. They became her strength, so she was able to make that choice when she saw me on that ground and I could not get up to help me, to encourage me. So I know some of you are looking at me like, I don't care. None of this applies to me. Yeah, I get that. I get it. But let me ask you something. Are each and every one of you a part of this world today? 
Is there someone that you love, someone that you know out there who is struggling right now? Well, then this fight is as much minds as it is for all of us. I know we all remember the Parkland school shooting, a tragedy that took so many innocent lives, and we're still asking ourselves, why did this happen? How could this have happened? But in the midst of a tragedy like this, taking back that power to surrender without a fight, it already has begun. See, there, there's this guy, Spencer Plum, He's a survivor of the shooting. And Spencer could have allowed this, this, this horrible incident to deflate him and to engulf him in his misery. But no, that is not what Spencer has done. Spencer, Spencer, what Spencer has done has led to a chain reaction across this nation asking each and every one of us to not only care about the victims, but to care about the safety and the well-being of every human being on this earth. A gesture that has led many to begin overcoming defeating circumstances together, people, together. There are so many examples of defeat already beginning to be overcame. You have dreamers. They fight for DACA, civil rights leaders, who fight for the equality for every human being out there, congressmen, politicians, but Oprah? But check this out. <laughs> you and I, we don't have to be rich, you don't have to be famous, well known, to care, to leave this impact on this world. Maybe you're a single parent and we all know the struggle is real. You're trying to make your ends meet, you work long hours, and your kids, they fight you every step of the way. But each morning, you wake up, you put on your work clothes, you get breakfast on that table, and you wake those beautiful, smiling babies, reassuring them that we, we are okay. Most importantly, that they are going to be okay. That's your impact. That is your impact. I have an aunt. I have a few aunts. They're all survivors of breast cancer. Their hair is gone. Their dignity is gone. Their weight and chemo is done. But each morning, my aunts wake up with joy in their hearts and that pep in their steps, ready to encourage each and every one of us, despite their situation, they made that choice to say, you matter. To say that, Samantha, that I can be more than just this number in a system that they call prison. That is their impact. Even as prisoners, we have been told repeatedly that there is no victory for us, labeled and thrown away for the choices that we have made so far in our lives. But what about those ladies that have also been labeled and thrown away who have overcame this challenge, this barrier? Now, I'm not asking anybody to go out and start a coalition. <laughs> but let's Let's stop beating one another down. Let's offer those words, those gestures. So this past year, I had the pleasure of attending the Special Olympics, where men and women with mental and physical limitations, they don't even know what defeat is. The will to encourage, to motivate, and push not only each other, but us outshined any limitations that they may have ever felt to watch as I see these men and ladies who face struggles far more difficult than I myself have ever done, laugh, smile, motivate, push me beyond any defeat I ever have felt. And it got me to thinking, well, damn, here I am, but here they are. 
they face defeat for the things that you and I, we might take for granted every single day, but that did not defeat them. They defeated their circumstances, and in having that victory, they lend that hand to people like us. In the idea that, I, I can help you, and you know what's gonna happen after that? You're gonna help him, and he's gonna help her, just so our world can be as happy as they see their own. You dig? <laughs> to see an addict tell their story of sobriety, five years, five months, or even five minutes, and watch as the defeat vanishes within their eyes as those encouraging words are felt upon for people like us to be a prisoner. <laughs> Long and behold, no chance, no hope of a normal life, surrounded by many, and I do mean surrounded by so many who have walked this path, push me and say, Samantha, you can do this. Most importantly, I am here for you, surpasses any defeat that I have ever felt in this place. What am I telling you, folks? I'm telling you that we, we are survivors, and we survive, and we conquer by caring, motivating one another with our words and our gestures. That if, if we took one second, that's all it takes, one second, and stop focusing on yourself and start caring about the person next to you, how much greater would this world be? If we took the motivation that these men from the Special Olympics have gifted us with, the call that Spencer has asked for all of us to care for everyone in this world, the encouragement of a single parent, a prisoner to a boss, or an uneducated grandmother, what great things can we accomplish together? That's it. Dreamers, they fight, and civil rights leaders, they fight just the same. <laughs> but as prisoners, addicts, single parents, and everyday people of this world, we have to fight just the same. <laughs> but our fight, listen, our fight is the encouragement, the nonstop pursuit of overcoming defeating circumstances by unification with one cause one word and one gesture. Ladies and gentlemen, the defeat is not in how many times that we get knocked down, but it only becomes def defeat when we do not help one another back up. It's one gesture. Will you, or you, or will I, will we lend a hand? 